you know the future of warships is going to be totally bad a when it has been called the dreadnought 2050. Holograms, 3D printed drones and laser beams will all come as standard if the Starpoint group can make its vision a reality. The concept ship has been designed as part of an experiment carried out at the informal request of the British Ministry of Defence. Commander Steve Press said the Royal Navy challenged the defence industry to brainstorm innovative technology that could give it an operational edge in the battlefields of the future. We therefore welcome a project that allows some of Britain's best and brightest young engineers to come up with ideas on what a warship might look like or be equipped with in 2050, he told Sky News. We want to attract the best new talent to see to operate, maintain, and develop systems with this level of ambition. The result was the Dreadnought 2050 a warship with all the bells and whistles you would expect given the technology on offer. The use of highly efficient turbines driving silent electric motors to water jets will help the warship with an ultra-strong hull made from the finest acrylics glide stealthily through the waters. A floodable dock at the rear of the ship will provide a launch zone for Royal Marines and swimming drones, while a deck on top of the ship will be used for launching armed aerial drones created by the ship's 3D printer. An electromagnetic railgun with a 200 km range will offer protection from the distance and a number of microwave guns will be used for close-range combat. For water-based enemies the warship will carry rocket-propelled torpedoes, which can travel as fast as 300 knots. The inside of the ship will contain an ops room complete with a holographic interface used for tactical espionage. Startpoint senior executive Muir McDonald said while the plans were ambitious, there were no reasons they couldn't come to fruition. While some of these technologies push today's boundaries in science and engineering, there is no reason why elements could not be incorporated into future designs, he said in a press release. The Royal Navy needs visionary, innovative thinking and these concepts point the way to cutting-edge technology which can be acquired at less cost and operated with less manpower than anything at sea today.